How you wash your dreadlocks is going to depend on the shampoo that you're using. If you're using something like a baking soda mix or something really concentrated like Dr. Bronner's, you're going to put some of that in a cup and take it in the shower with you and fill it with water because you got to dilute that stuff with water and mix it in. And so I say use a plastic cup because if you use a glass cup, you know, if you drop that in the shower, it's going to shatter everywhere and that's just, it's annoying. So bring a plastic cup, but you take that in the shower with you. And you, you know you mix the water into it. So if you're using something like baking soda, you can use the back end of your toothbrush or your razor or something, or your finger, stir it in. Or Dr. Bronner's, you can just kind of swirl it around. It will, it will mix in there, and you're gonna pour it over. And then if you use like a regular shampoo, you're gonna just put it in your hand and put it in there. But either way, whichever one you use, you you know you're literally gonna like really rub it around and get it all in all your dreads. Like you know, I take it, I palm roll. Sometimes I'll palm roll it into every one of my dreads. I want to, you know, get a really, really good solid clean. So you're, you know, you're taking time, and when you're, when you first get dreads, like I didn't feel comfortable really moving it around like that because it was creating a lot of loose hair and stuff. So I kind of just poured it over and did more of the palm rolling stuff, which is fine. You can totally do that. But as I get more locked, you know, you can work it around, whatever. It's all good. And so whatever shampoo you use is going to determine like how you start it. But for the most part, you're going to work it around like that, and then and you, the, you need to make sure you're rinsing it out well. So you can let, you know, also in the early stages sometimes I like to use a cup of water to pour over to rinse it out too. I didn't like letting the water hit directly because I felt like it was creating loose hair. But again, I don't think it's that big of an issue. But now, like, just let the water hit, you know, so the water runs through the dreads, getting all the shampoo out of there. What I do sometimes is, like, cut my hands and, like, watch it run out. And so I can see, like, okay, there's still shampoo in there because I can see, see it on my hands, you know, drop it. Keep letting it fill up until I see that, like, okay, that's clear water, all the... All the soap has been rinsed out of my hair. And so that's washing. You know, washing is really not that complicated. It's much like regular hair. Um, but where it gets a little more complicated is, is drying your dreads. It is crucial that you dry your dreads well. Um, you know, I if, I'm go if I know I'm going to bed in the next few hours, I won't wash my hair that night. I'll wait till the next day because you can't, you shouldn't go to bed with wet dreads. It's just like sleeping on wet dreads and stuff, like it, it can create water mold in there. And that's not cool. <laughs> so you really need to, you know, I wash in the morning or in the afternoon where I know I'm going to have more time to really let it dry. But, you know, getting, like, I finish washing in the shower, I, I squeeze all of it out, try to squeeze all the water out, then I'll take a towel and squeeze a towel on there tight. I'll wrap a towel up, put it on my head for a little while as I walk around the house or do homework or whatever, cook. Um, you know, so I'm walking around with a towel up on my head like my mom used to do. <laughs> but you got to do what you got to do. And then after I do that for a little bit, I take a hair dryer. Yeah, I, I use a hair dryer, and I, I you know I dry them out, and I'll you know if it's still wet I might go back in the shower and shake them, try to shake some of that water out, and then hit it with the hair dryer again. But I'll be honest, man, it's it's an annoying process. Like drying my dreads, I hate it, but you, it's something you got to do. You can't just walk around with wet dreads all the time, and and they take a long time to dry, especially if you have the blunted tips because it's kind of holding the water in there a little more. So you really gotta put forth the effort to dry and understand the importance of that. But so that's washing and drying dreadlocks. Like I said, washing is really not that complicated. It's not much different than washing regular hair, besides the fact that you need a special shampoo. But drying it, you need to understand the importance, and you need to dry them well. Buy a hair dryer. Make sure you're towel drying it well. Do what it takes to get those dry, especially before you go to sleep. You know, summertime it's not as bad because I would just like go chill outside for a little bit, and the sun would dry up. But now in the winter, you have to make a lot more of an effort to get it dry. So make sure you guys are doing that and taking good care of your dreads. Keep them clean.